subject verb agreement so what do you understand by subject verb agreement when verb is agreeing with the subject with the person or number we can call subject verb agreement let me tell you one example they are playing here they is plural that's why we made they are now he is playing here he that is singular so here the verb is agreeing with the person as well as number now let's study the rules of subject verb agreement rule number one when two singular subjects join with i we make verb plural for example ramu and raju are good friends here raju is a singular noun ram also singular noun and orange and apple are sweet so here also orange that is singular noun as well as the apple singular noun rule number 2 when two subjects are joined as well as in addition to along with the verb must agree the first subject for example my friends as well as i dash going to market here my friends as well as i are going to market here i am it won't come because when it is coming as well as the verb must agree with the first subject that is my friends it is a plural that's why we add the auxiliary verb are now rule number 3 when we add in the beginning one of then the verb must be singular for example one of my friends is good here one of that means among my friends one is good that's why whenever we add one of the verb must be singular rule number 4 when we add each every either neither the verb must be singular for example either of the two girls is like here two girls are like no because we add either so the verb must be singular now rule number 5 when two or subjects joined by either or neither no the verb must be join or agree with the nearest one let me tell you again when we add either or neither no the verb must agree with the nearest one which is close to the verb here we are not taking the first subject the subject which is nearer to the verb for example either they or i am going to play so here the verb is agreeing with the nearer or nearest one which is we can say the second subject i it is not agreeing with the first subject they rule number 6 now which are plural in form but singular in meaning for example news english maths physics if form is like plural but it gives the meaning as singular so the verb must be singular for example news is all here news it is not plural it is a singular in meaning that's why the verb is singular and rule number 7 when we take collective noun in a general way the verb must be singular and when we take collective noun in individual way that means we are individualizing that time the verb must be plural 
it will be confusing us but with the example let me clarify it. the entire class is absent here the entire class we are taking in a general way that's why the verb is singular now the children of the class are absent here when we make children we are making us an individual individualizing so the verb must be plural so give little concentration otherwise it can confuse us when collective noun is taking us general way the verb must be singular and when we are individualizing that time verb must be in plural form Rule number eight when plural noun express some specific quantity or amount considered as whole then the verb must be singular for example 10 kilometers is a long distance here 10 kilometers are a long distance no it's wrong 10 kilometers is a long distance because the plural noun express a specific quantity or amount considered as whole rule number nine when the nouns such as goods scissors pliers people when we use these words the verb must be in plural form we cannot add singular verb along with these nouns for example scissors are good we cannot say scissors is good and people are good we can't say people is good so friends i hope you got little idea of subject verb agreement with its rules thank you